Virginia Tech moved into the top 25 for the first time this season after a win over North Carolina this weekend. Are you starting to believe this is a real contender for the Coastal Division? I think they've done it. I'm, I'm <laughs> wrapped up in this. I think that they're most definitely a contender for the Coastal now. They have to beat the Panthers this weekend, and Pittsburgh has been a, a sort of a crux for them. It's it, difficult. Yeah. It is surprising. It is odd, but going back, you know, a decade back to their Big East rival in days, this was a game that Virginia Tech struggled with. They lost four straight to them. So I think that it, that game is very important, and you cannot look at overlook it. There's mm -hmm. a no. There's a bye week afterwards, and then it's Duke. So there's no reason why Virginia Tech should not be completely focused on this game, and they should have revenge on the mind from last year. UVA sacked the, the quarterback Savage seven times. If I'm Virginia Tech with the defensive line that they have, they have, should have no problem getting to Savage. Although if he can get it out, there's talent for this Pittsburgh team, but they have to be able to beat this offensive line that just isn't very good for Pittsburgh. And when you look to the rest of the season, I, I think that they've shown that this defense, or excuse me, this offense just needs to get to mediocre. It, it really does. It does not have to be a high-flying offense. It does not have to be Baylor. It does not have to be Oregon. It can just be serviceable because the defense is so good and the special teams is kind of starting to turn it around. A.J. Hughes, I think, has punted so well mm. lately, and he's flipping the fields, and because of that, the defense can just pin their ears back against some of these guys. And so I, I don't see why you don't have your, your thoughts set on the ACC championship game at this point because the toughest game remaining after this pit one is Miami on the road, but you have some time to get to that one. Yeah, you got to circle November 9th. Mm -hmm. That's, I think, what every Hokie fan is doing right about now. And I agree. You know, the Panthers game is an easy one to overlook. Look what happened last year. Ranked 13th, went up to Heinz Field. And that was sort of the beginning of the end for that team. Yes. So I agree that it's, you know, it's worth watching. But Tom Savage, he is coming off some concussion problems. They just had a bye leading up to this one. But I'm still not feeling particularly worried because when you look at the Panthers, the one thing they can do is score, and they're going to have an awful hard time doing that against what might be the best defense in the country. So you get Exum back for this one, too. We think, for we real think. this time. We yeah. said this last week. This is true. And we seem pretty confident, but we think, for real, we'll have Anton Exum back there in the backfield. So I would not worry too much about this one, but I'm already worried about that Miami game. I'm not sure how for real there, the Hurricanes are. But they're sitting there right below the Hokies. If they had played one more ACC game, they probably would have won it, and they'd probably be even with the te with Hokies right now. So it makes me very nervous because I have bad memories about how the last game in Miami went, uh, that 30-12 to beatdown that they suffered a season ago. So I'm a little nervous, but as you said, it's a new year. This defense is just so much fun to watch. And when A.J. Hughes is out there having the game of his career like he did last time, then it's even fun to watch the special teams, even if the return games on both sides are a little shaky. So in any case, I, I've been championing them as a coastal contender since the Georgia Tech game. I think this weekend did nothing to change my mind. Go Hokies. Yeah, I, I just think that you really have to worry, worry about I'm worried about Pitt. I'm yeah. just worried because it's 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 Pitt, and I just remember every well, year and not just that, that. they lost to Pitt. Not just that, but UNC gave them some trouble when, you know, most people thought the secondary would shut them down once True. again. Now you're coming out there against Devin Street, one of the better receivers in the country. Mm -hmm. I'd, be, I'd be a little worried, but as I said, I have full confidence in Bud Foster. It's Logan Thomas. Can he keep doing what he's been doing for the last two weeks? That's the real question.